What are you gonna say? As soon as the killer raised his pistol, I took action. Cease this at once, you two, I cried with composure. The victim turned in the direction of my voice, and a, a shot rang out. Whereupon our cowardly killer, the defendant, appeared to have become frightened. So he turned towards you, then the guy shot, thus shooting him in the temple. But that's not what you said. Tossing the pistol aside, he fled from the scene. So it's not really quite what Christoph, uh, not Christoph, Clavier was getting at, but it's still dumb. I don't think so. That doesn't really matter now, unfortunately. Let us continue this new testimony, shall we? Observe the diagram if you would. The witness, the Mr. Stickler, was it, was it, stood here. He shouted, oh stop, please, or something of this nature. And the victim responded by looking in the witness's direction. That's not his direction. He's at an angle. He's over there. If the killer were to have fired at just that moment, as we can see, the bullet would have struck the right temple, as in the report. That does seem to be the case. Witness the power of a junior in Ivy University's Department of Science. Very well, Mr. Justice, you may cross-examine the witness. Alright, let's get into this. You yelled out. Let's press that. Are you sure both men were able to hear your voice? They were, of course. My high, exquisite voice... Oh, is, does he have a high voice? My high, exquisite voice echoed through the park! And the victim responded to that clarion call. Quiet! <laughs> the victim turned in the direction of my voice and a shot rang out! That's annoying. I'm gonna stop. Did you hear the gunshot at the same time as the victim turned? Indeed, I would say about at the same time. About! And the victim didn't ask you for help? It can be said that he didn't have time to ask. He didn't even have time to take a single step. I'm totally sure that the killer fired because Mr. Stickler started him, startled him. Don't say that too loud, Trucy, please. And it's not relevant, probably. Can you describe the killer's actions more clearly? He seemed quite surprised, especially considering that he was he who did the deed. As we can see, human psychology is a tangled web indeed. What a tangled web we weave when we... whatever to deceive, am I right? He shot, he panicked. A common tale, but true. Unfortunately, before I could take further action... Interesting. If I just killed a man and there was a witness, I'd say what's the harm in one more and kill the witness too, but that's just me, and I'm a terrible person. It all happened so fast, I'm afraid I hadn't the time. Doesn't something about that strike you as odd, Apollo? What? The killer was in a hurry, right? He fired the pistol and tossed it right away. According to the testimony, that's what happened, yes. In that case, I'd expect to find something that we didn't find, such as a pistol. Good call, Trucy. I like you better than that other girl already. What was her name? Not as sad as I feel. What do we do now? At least the testimony is getting a little clearer. She's right. Maybe I can find something to use in this new testimony. Where did the gun come from? It was at the crime scene. But it wasn't there when we were there. Should I... Go ahead and do that? Wait a second. Tsk, tsk. Another misleading request. Yet you're so beholden to your own mode of discourse, you can't see how it affects you. Uh, come again. Wait a second, you say? A second? Are we intended to wait just that, a single second? Alright, you fucking sass ass, motherfucker. Uh, oh, I, I, I did it a second! What are you, four years old? That's a four-year-old joke. I uh, waited a second, you did it a that's hardly enough time to draw a breath, let alone make a statement in court. Now, had you asked for a longer period of time, say three minutes, thirty-five seconds? Mr. Justice? Yes, Your Honor. I hope this guy did it, which means he definitely didn't. The girl probably did it, because she's the only other one. There's Plum Kataki, too, and the dad. They could have done it, I guess. 
A common ploy made all the more common, I fear, by the prevalence of television. Criminals these days are loath to leave fingerprints. Wait, but you said the killer tossed the gun and ran. That's right. He didn't have time to wipe the gun for prints. Oh, that's what the problem was, not that it was at the scene. Okay. Whoa. Well, couldn't he have just been wearing gloves? Is that not is that not the logical path of thought? No? Okay. I guess were, he didn't say anything about gloves, so it's we're assuming no gloves. The little girl sticking into the university student. Eh... If you'd said that the other way around, that would have been really bad. It's not as bad here, but hey. There's a song in there? What the hell? I'm not little. Okay. Then let's think like adults. Shall we, Fraulein? Eh? What if the killer, the defendant, was wearing gla- Oh, there we go. I agree, actually. Gotta admit, I didn't think of that. That's really odd. That's the first thing anyone would think of. Well, Mr. Justice? That's why I didn't think about the prince thing right away. I thought about the scene of the crime. Could the killer have been wear- uh, I'm not gonna say no way as if it's not possible for a man to wear gloves, so I guess. If he was wearing gloves, there wouldn't be prints. And there weren't. So, you know. His silence speaks louder than words, although... I mean, him not wearing gloves is beneficial to my case, so maybe I should have said that. But just thinking logically, he could have been wearing... Oh, there was that knife! It had his prints on it, and it was at the scene of the crime. So yeah. I guess we should uh, we should bring that up. Can I go back? Can I do? Can I get a do-over? Can I do? Can I try again? A small pleasure, but still. All right. Maybe we're just in the same spot as we were in before. Now just do the same thing. I'm gonna do the same thing. Here you go. I got a pistol for you right here, man. And then we're gonna have to fast forward B through all this nonsense. And he's gonna be an asshole again. But then this time, I'm gonna say the other thing. And he's all shocked again, he gets all white in the face, and it's great time. And then the gloves happen, and then I get asked a question, and then I say, no way, Jose. Thank you for that recap. You're welcome. The fingerprints were wiped, which means some trace of prints remained, which contradicts your testimony. If everything happened as you say it did, he wouldn't have had time to wipe the pistol. Never understood people who lick their fingers before, before turning the pages of a book. Is it difficult to turn the pages of a book? I have never had trouble with this. I have never needed moisture for it. I don't really get it. The killer, the defendant. He threw down the murderous weapon from his hand and fled. Hmm. And this pistol was found at the scene of the crime, strongly suggesting that this was the weapon he disposed of. That sounds solid to me, well, uh, forehead. Any of your precious objections? He doesn't even have, like, a big forehead, does he? What gives, Apollo? Let's see that voice training go to work. You know, I've only recently realized something. No matter how much you train your voice, it doesn't matter if you have nothing to say. As There's a lesson in that. Isn't it obvious from what the witness just said? Huh? Isn't what obvious? When he restated what he saw just now, he said he saw Waki drop a murderous weapon. But that's not the same as being 100% sure of what Waki threw away. You're right. So he was probably holding the knife. He never had a pistol to begin with. He dropped it, and then there you go. Poor Mr. Stickler. Must be hard to be so perfect and yet so wrong. Well, it can be said that I'm quite offended. Good. Well, it is indeed true that once in my youth I wrote that seized by the teacher the post on the blackboard, the air Palatian poem I marry. Got it. What we can say for certain is that the witness saw the killer throw something. Does the defense have anything to say? I do. Well, if what he threw wasn't a pistol, then it had to be something else. At least one person on the defense team seems to be thinking. This is a weird direction that this went in, because, you know, I, I said that it's that he couldn't have been wearing gloves. And so you'd think we would then head directly head into questioning of why, and I would say because of the knife, but I guess Apollo wasn't thinking of the knife yet. He's not uh, He's not really up to speed. He's very new at this. He doesn't really know anything. So we just kind of did a roundabout line of questioning and thinking to get here. And now I can say the knife. Is that a sword? No. 
I saw one of those on the late night movie last night. The late night movie. Oh, that one. This knife was found at the scene of the crime. Oh, trust me, this judge being sleep deprived. Well, it would explain some things. If it's a, if it's a normal thing for him, it's it's really not going to make a difference. The single piece of evidence proves two important things. One, that what the defendant threw down wasn't a pistol. Two, that the defendant wasn't wearing gloves. Hmm, indeed. Oh, F or head. You're forgetting two other things you've just proven. I'm sorry? One, that the man the witness saw was the defendant, Mr. Waki Kitaki. Two, that the defendant was holding a knife with the intent of harming the victim. So? This court is of the opinion that our witness is fond of making assumptions. In that light, I believe it would behoove us to hear what about, about what really occurred. With less assuming, please. On with it! It is always the same with you people. Mark left the house on foot, and five minutes later, his brother left after him. How long would it take for Mark's brother to catch up to him? Assuming that Mark never had to stop for a traffic light? Assuming? Yes, that's what I said, assuming. As if that were a probable situation at all. Yet here you are assuming that my assumption is no better. Ahem, uh -huh. what this court assumes is that the witness will testify as to what happened after the shot was fired. I could not prevent the killer from leaving the scene, nor could I simply leave the scene in good conscience. Ergo, I used my cell phone to call the police. Until the police arrived, it seemed in minutes later, I saw no one else. Why didn't you chase the killer? He was, as you say, a killer, but he threw away the gun, according to you. Of course I could have run him down, yet what would he have done when cornered? Uh, he didn't have a gun, so I don't know. Mm. Did the testimony earlier not prove the defendant's presence at the scene? And, I mean, obviously, the, I'm saying that the knife was there, so obviously he was there. I'm not denying that. It seems clear that we have our killer. Does it not? No. It does not. Alright. Couldn't prevent him. I'm gonna go with that one. Wasn't your first thought to call an ambulance? Well, I mean, it's like the same thing. If you call the police and tell them somebody has been shot, they'd probably call an ambulance, right? They'd probably send one. The injury I witnessed, namely a single shot to the head, tends to result in death. A shot to the heart apparently doesn't. There's no need for me to call an ambulance. Oh, a perfect syllogism. A, per a proof in three parts. Exquisite, simply exquisite. He actually looks like he's going to cry. Okay. Ten minutes later. Can you tell us in detail about these ten minutes? I stood in a state of heightened awareness. Anything could happen at any moment. Anyone could appear from any direction. Is that all? No one came... Uh, excuse me. Nothing happened at all. I saw it all, which is to say I saw nothing. It was late at night. It's not odd to think there would be a few people around in the park. So we just stood there, watching. Uh, not much to go on there. Trucy, if you've got something to say, by all means, say it. This witness is way too self-assured. There's got to be a weakness somewhere in this testimony. Trucy is doing way more than you, dude. At this point, she is, uh... She's... My favorite. She is the true ace attorney. By the time it was clear the killer had noticed me, naturally he ran in the opposite direction. That would mean he ran in the opposite direction from the Kitaki Mansion. Akhtung, I don't even think about pointing out that he was going away from his home. All he had to do was loop back once he was out of sight. How did he know that's where I was going? What is it, Trucy? You're smarter than him. You speak up. You're smarter than all of us. You remind me of Pearl. If one is to devote one's life to the pursuit of science, one must never flinch at the sight of a little blood. Nor be so moved by a chemical discovery that one drops one's flask upon the lab room floor. Ooh, cool answer. Very cool. Sure. So nothing strange about how he acted. Trucy, tell me! I don't know the answer! You do! You're smarter than me. I can't find a single problem with that testimony. 
Had enough at last air forehead? Maybe it's time to back off a bit? Uh, No? The defense still has some questions that demand answers, Your Honor. In your opinion... Uh, why did I... Why did I almost say professor again? Why do I keep wanting to call him a professor? God damn it. Prosecute. Jesus. I will amuse myself by composing my next smash hit in my head. Okay. Very well, you may continue with the cross-examination. Trucy, I need your assistance, please. Uh... I don't really think repressing is going to do anything. Is there anything I can present on any of these? I could not prevent the killer from leaving the scene. Couldn't leave the scene yourself. Used your phone. Ten minutes later. Is there like a time discrepancy? I don't think so. There's the mansion. There's people park. I mean, I don't... Uh, hold on. Okay, I don't know. Well... Wait, is this... Whose is this? I never actually got a good look at what is on the top. What is that? Oh, it's a watch. Okay. Is that... Is that yours? No, that was in the Maractus Clinic. Garage. So probably not, no. Why, can, can I present Trucy? I need her help. Uh... I don't know. Do I have to back down? That is... Uh... I don't know, that's usually not the answer. But I don't know what else to do. They don't have enough to put Waki away yet. Should I back off for now? I mean, maybe I can back off and Trucy can step up, please. It appears there are no objections to the witness's current testimony. There are any number of ways to explain the lack of prints on the pistol, I assure you. Perhaps the killer really was wearing gloves which wiped the previous user's prints off. Then, after the deed was done, this fell out of his pocket as he was throwing the gun away. A mistake befitting of a small-time punk, in my opinion. No! It seems like we're not doing well. No, that can't be all. How unfortunate. It seems that you weren't cut out to stand out at the same stage as me. Stand on. Were you, Air Forehead? So far, this seems uh, pretty hopeless. This is a difficult one, for sure. This court will not declare. Uh, no, don't do that! Emma? Trucy? Somebody? Whoa! What the fuck? Uh. Plot twist. Wasn't expecting that one. Okay. Nobody move. What the hell? There will be no verdict in this course. Not yet. Oh, could be. Huh. Or it could be the girl. Because, I mean, she's the one who got us to do this job, which means she wants him to be found innocent. Which could be the case. I mean, even if she did it, if she likes him, then she wouldn't want him to be found guilty of it. Or, since we're like a new defense attorney, she wanted us to do it because she thought we would fail. And she did want him to be found guilty. I don't know, but then who would this be? I don't know, this could be anybody. Adjourn the court for 20 minutes. That's a rather reasonable request. Hey, Judge. I see little point in further aggravating this gentleman. Hmm. Recess 20 minutes, or I promise you you'll regret it. Not Matrusi. No! He's a magician, just like her. It's a conspiracy. 
I suppose I have no choice but to adjourn for a 20 minute recess. Well, that was, uh, that was unexpected. To be continued, I guess. Wow.